A lot of you don't know this, but I actually have a son. And for the next three days, we're gonna be spending some time together in Kona. Yeah, bubble boy. <laughs> All right. My son is pumped. Dada is home. <laughs> but now I gotta go for a quick dive and go score some dinner. As soon as I jumped in, I looked down and I see a massive Okuli ball just passing right under me. So I take a drop down to the bottom and they all turned around to come check me out. I don't know where they're off to in such a hurry, but I can guarantee you they're taking care of some important business. I've been down here for about a minute now trying to hunt this moo and he's in the process of thinking if he should commit to coming in and checking me out or if he should play it safe and stay on the outside. Ultimately he decides to play it safe and turns around and gives me the cold shoulder. But this Minpachi hiding underneath this boulder has no idea how much I love eating them. I'm pulling this Pachi in and you can see this Munu just cruising by, but he's gotta turn around cause he sees me holding the most beautiful three prong in the whole world. The Evolve CT9. And if you wanna pick up a beautiful three prong like mine or any Evolve product you see me using, go check out evolvediving.com and use my promo code HAMA for 10% off your entire order. Hama deals, cause just for you. So, once you smash one Minpachi, now you're committed. You cannot be that guy that just brings in one Minpachi. I can eat a couple of these just for myself and I gotta make sure I got a couple for Bubba too. I'm trying to call in this Uhu here down at 84 feet and I've been down here for a couple minutes now and she's just not that interested. So I whip him around and spank one more Pachi for the road. It looks like the Akuli ball is done handling business. So they decided to come check me out one last time. Me, personally, I like to gut and scale all my fish in the water. Sometimes I'll scale them on land because it can be a little bit quicker, but I always got them in the water because the guts can get pretty stankies. So this was very unexpected and not how I wanted to exit the water. I was waiting for the next wave to push me forward right there when a big one decided to come in, picks me up and just trolls my whole body right onto the rocks. Boom. I'm freaking airborne right here. Look how high my head is headed straight to that rock. Boom. Luckily I absorbed all the impact right onto my forearm so the damage is not too critical. All right, I gotta grab Bubba real quick and we're gonna go check out the beach. Come on, Bubba.
Oh man, the moon is busting out. I'm too lazy to cook up the fish today, so I'm just gonna yeah. eat some salad and some sushi and call it a night. Ready to go to bed? Ooh, good morning, Baba. I gotta take this guy to school today. Oop. Oh man, Bubba almost ripped my damn arm off. A lot of questions I get asked all the time is, where are you from? And then I tell them I'm from Hawaii, and it's always immediately followed up by, do you surf? And I always say, no. <laughs> but my homie Danny, who you all know as... Got all the goddamn charm, bro. <laughs> is actually a surf instructor so he's gonna teach me how to surf today and we're gonna go check him out right now <laughs> brother Lucas that's funny yeah you what's up brother yes yeah, all right so my Costco board is a no-go but Brother Danny's got the hookup for a bigger board. How's the water looking today? Definitely rough, definitely some big conditions out there. We're looking at about a four to six foot swell. Well, you may be noticing that we're walking past the bay and that's because Brother Danny says I need a bite mount. This thing is sink. <laughs> so uh, to get you guys that good, good footage, where we gotta go? We gotta go Pacific Vibrations. This guy ran into a pig. Oh yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah, so. Welcome to Danny's car. Wait, show us around, bro. What do you got in here? <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> we got Tyler the taco to keep me company. Harry the honu. Um, he's uh, he's a little past his prime, but you know, he still goes. Bro, are you living in here? What's going on back here, dog? <laughs> Don't judge me. I surf a lot. So oh, it's firing. Oh, look at that. It's like four foot, maybe three foot. So Danny's got a kind of a nut story about that spot we're going to go surf. Yeah, so uh, I actually had to pull a body out of uh, the bay over there. Um, I was on a surf lesson and uh, everything was normal. And I saw this guy swimming across the bay like super quick. He's an older guy and it was during the Ironman. So I thought he was training for the event. You know, he's paddling really, really hard. So I didn't really think anything of it. About an hour later, I came back out on a second lesson and we're paddling out in the channel and in about five feet, I look down and I see this guy floating face down at the bottom. So I had to pull him off the reef and call the ambulance and everything. It was pretty dramatic. What happened to him? Like, why did he die? He probably had a heart attack or, you know, he could have had like a stroke or something. You know, he's in his like 70s. Part of town I don't like to go into. Yeah, I got like almost $500 ticket on my moped. <laughs> Take the lights off. Yeah, they're next to <laughs> Literally right where we just came from. Are you fing kidding me? Right where we just came from. This is why I don't come to this part of town. They changed locations on us. That's the second time this year they've changed locations though. We promise we'll get to surfing soon. <laughs> These are the 70s. That was the board is South Shore. The OG the guys, camera, the OG well, GoPro. Whoa! I'm gonna take my name tag off. This is number one. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. That that's, is that's cool. <laughs> Collector's item. It is. Yes. Uh, got the bite mount. 
Make sure you guys support Pacific Vibration Surf. Anthe's hella cool in there. Quick little coffee sample. Let's start with the Hilo. Okay, okay hook me up with a squirt. Go a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> oh, where'd you run off to, bro? Look at that thing. Holy. Yes. <laughs> that is a work of art. Cheers, guys. Shoot that. You just got out of time. You go down the little cliff and you're in. Alright, brother Danny's gonna rock this. And I'm gonna get the old super beginner board. Thought I'll make sure, cause. I didn't know you need a rash guard, so Danny's gonna let me borrow his. Catch cracks from the wave storm. All right, five hours later, and we are headed to my first surfing lesson. First, I gotta rent a board. You can just leave that right there. You don't wanna dig your nose when you're paddling, but you also don't want the nose to be coming up off the surface like that. You're gonna arch your back, back foot, front foot. All you gotta do is let go of your hands and you're surfing. And <laughs> you're surfing. You got the idea. Yeah. Is that right? Do I wanna land like in the middle like right there? Pretty much, yeah. Oh yeah, it's right here. All right, here's your blade. Oh, charging. to pop up well you know the people and uh i saw my board going into the water if it's a bigger wave you want to lean a little further back to keep your nose from diving but if it's a smaller wave you actually want to crawl your way to the front One thing you guys aren't seeing is that Danny's behind me pushing my board onto the wave so I can catch it. <laughs> Why, any ukus? Got a little ukus, maybe a couple more feet out. A couple more feet out, he said, let's go check them out. Paddling is brutal. Oh, this is my last one, dude. I'm done already. Yeah, we'll make it a good one. Alright, this one? Oh. 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 We made it, caught a couple waves. That's pretty fun. Oh. Reminds me of skateboarding. Yeah, this guy is a natural. He didn't even need a lesson. This guy pushed me onto every single wave. Awesome. Yeah, so I like diving more. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this right here is actually Hawaii's only surfing heiau. This is actually where the ali'i would come, the kings, uh, to come and watch the surf. Well, you guys are in luck. I got a menpachi for everybody. I want you to cook it up, bro. You're the menpachi king over here. Oh. I got three menpachi and one munu. That was good fun. That reminded me a lot like skateboarding. A lot of you don't notice, but I used to skate a lot back in the day. I used to also smoke a pack of cigarettes a day and in that clip I'm actually holding a cigarette in my right hand. But anyway, we're headed to Kaimani's house right now. Go cook up the Mimpachi and some Munu. I already scaled mine, but 
Danny's got a bag over here. Oh yeah, look at all that dirt. Extra. <laughs> or you know what would have been smarter would be to do it on top of the bag instead of in the dirt. <laughs> look at that brain. I know. Overcoming challenges. The cogs are turning. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta score them so they get crispy. Oh, look at these things. Bro, that's that, crazy. That was only like a couple drops too. That's gotta be almost record size Menpachi right Not. there. That's what the Evolve CT9, bro. Of course they're big. Let's try this Munu first. Really nice, crisp, crunchy on the Munu. Soft meat. Try some of the Mimpachi. Oh. Ah, uh, sauce. That is probably the best sauce I ever tasted. Oh, yeah? Oh, uh, sauce is so good. What's in the sauce? Ooh. If I told you I'd have to kill you, bro. Top nah, nah. secret, huh? Top secrets, bro. <laughs> Gotta keep some secrets. <laughs> Crunchy. I got you something. What'd you get Thanks me? for the surf lesson today. What is this? <laughs> My favorite. It's your birthday, huh? I want to spin. It's kind of weird and cheeky, you know? If you never tried a cupcake before, you're missing out. I gotta head out. Yes, sir. I actually gotta go pick up my son right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Your son? He's at school. Yes, sir, guys. She's got a man. Yes, sir. Shoo! Did you have a good day at school today, Bubba? Huh? What'd you learn at school today, Bubba? Oh, he's tired. Sit. Pa. Nice to meet you. I am toasted. That was the most sun I got in a while. I live up on the mountains, so not too much sunshine up there. We're gonna call it a night, rest stop, and have another big adventure tomorrow. Ah, Baba. Good morning. It is 5.15 in the morning. And we are off on a big adventure, Bubba. Oh, boy. 
boy. I've always wanted to do this hike and check out the water down here, so I'm excited. Not as excited as Bubba though. Which way do we go? Come on, let's go. Let's go. First sign of water and Bubba's getting all stoked. Oh. All right, let's keep it moving. It's too rocky over here. Uh-uh, Baba, no. Wait. How's this cool little brackish water pond? How's that? Ah, nice and cold. Yeah, you. Take a little dip. It's freaking hot now. Oh, this water feels so good. No! I put my foot on the bottom and the lava rock in there is super sharp, so I ended up cutting my toe a little bit, and you definitely don't want to have open wounds in there. No make fun of my nasty toe, okay? All right, Bubba, we gotta go. Dada's gotta go to the hospital. I wonder if get any hospitals Makai side. Wow! Damn, I didn't know the beach was gonna be this sick. All right, Bubba, let's get out of here. Bubba's feet's getting all bust up, I think. Come on, let's go. It's a hot one. Bubba is probably burning up. Baba, come here. Hey! How's that? He's looking for a ride. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, got a ride from some homies. Some cool brothers. Give me one ride. We did it, Baba. What's this guy checking out the chicks? Bruh. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, it's, it's clean and it's, it's strong. Diamond product is... I don't know about you, Bubba, but let's eat. You hungry, Baba? Down. Okay.
and we have a mountain of pasta. The local grass-fed beef. So good. Oh, is that for me, Bubba? Thank you. Bubba, you are too kind. Mahalo to everyone. Shee!